your remote monitoring COVID-19 diary. As you have symptoms of COVID-19, you or your carer has received a diary and a pulse oximeter. COVID-19 is a viral illness, which for most people is mild, but for some, it can quickly become serious. That's why we need you to monitor your breathing, your heart rate, and the level of oxygen in your blood. By recording these measurements in the diary provided, you can help your GP or 111 decide on the best treatment for you. A pulse oximeter monitors how fast your heart beats and the level of oxygen in your blood to accurately assess your progress with COVID-19. An ideal blood oxygen level is between 95 and 99%. An ideal heart rate is between 50 and 90. How to use a pulse oximeter. One, remove any nail polish or false nails and warm your hand if cold. Two, rest for at least five minutes before taking your measurement. Three, Rest your hand on your chest at heart level and hold it still. 4. Switch on the pulse oximeter and place it on your middle or index finger. 5. The reading takes time to steady. Keep the pulse oximeter in place for at least a minute or longer if the reading is not stable. 6. Record the highest result once it has not changed for five seconds. Seven, identify each reading carefully. Write the information in the diary. Start writing from the baseline and record three times a day at the same times. For instance, when you would normally eat meals. Take extra measurements if you feel a change in your health. Go to A&E immediately or ring 999 if you feel seriously ill, you are unable to complete short sentences while resting due to breathlessness, or your oxygen level is 92% or less. If it is, check again immediately. If it remains 92 or below, go to A&E immediately or call 999. Ring your GP or 111 as soon as possible if your oxygen level is 93 or 94 percent when sitting or lying down and remains at this level after being rechecked within an hour. You slowly start feeling more unwell or more breathless for two or more hours. Or you have difficulty breathing when getting up, for instance to go to the toilet. It also helps to keep track of your temperature. However, as long as your oxygen level and breathing are normal, you don't need to contact your GP or 111 if you have a temperature. Other symptoms are generally less worrying. Paracetamol and regular fluids can help, and most people will get better by themselves within two to three weeks. Remember, some people with COVID-19 may develop other problems or have other causes for their symptoms. If you are concerned, please visit the NHS website for advice. Even if you feel better, please keep the oximeter for at least 14 days, as some patients feel unwell again after the first week of symptoms. After this, please return the oximeter and your diary to your GP surgery in the bag provided. And of course, please carefully follow government advice via the NHS website. Thanks, and we wish you a speedy recovery.